Hello, hello, hello. How's it going? Hope you're all okay. Can you hear me? Can you see me? All of that rubbish. Oh, I'm so tired. So, we had it on some socks. Yay! Two months! I don't know what. Could you not? I don't know why the sound isn't working. I meant to look at that and I totally forgot. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you for the two month streak sub. You lovely. Mwah. Hi. There's a Daryl. And there's a fucking Daryl. And there's a toothless. Which I love toothless. Mum bought this. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you get me it? Because you know me for it and told me you wanted a toothless. I forgot when that was, but I love him. Right, go on, you're going to bed, so... Okay? Yeah. Me and Toothless are best friends. Can you get me a Pikachu soon? Go on. Guys, I want a Pikachu. He wants a Pikachu. Go on off here. you how's it going you know what to do when Al comes oh yeah I know what to do when Al comes that's if Al comes in she's probably watching Fen or something I don't bloody know Playing on your OBS, getting ready for your life. Yeah, Nero's doing a long stream tonight as well. Because he's got a set of night shifts coming up. So I think he wants to sort of stay up as late as he can. Before crashing out. I wish I hadn't picked up patterns for this sock now. It was me thought I'd keep things interesting when all I really want is mindless knitting, you know. Because <laughs> I'm so freaking tired at the moment. finished your first pair you need to get photos yay that's cool yeah I need to make Daryl some socks as well I need to work out what the stitch count for him is
it is um, there's lots of uh, decreasing going on you know sometimes it's just two stitches and other times it's three and because it swaps between uh, in uh, decreasing two and then decreasing three I don't dare kind of wing it do you know what I mean in case I do the wrong decrease so that is a bit annoying but it looks nice lovely when it's done that's that's the main thing excuse me oh dear I don't know how long I'm gonna manage tonight because I am um, it's been one of them weeks you know stressful and quite shit really and now everything's sort of done and dusted, I'm like dozing off. So I need people to chat to. Or I'm gonna give up and go and curl up in my armchair in the other room. Hello, Carpern. How you doing? How goes it? Sorry. Sorry, it's that time of the evening where I will yawn my head off for about an hour, you know, and then when I think, oh, fuck it, I'll go to bed. That's when I usually wake up. Blah, back hurts. Same, girl, same. But knitting is going good. That's good, them. What you're knitting at the moment, then? It's exciting. Will I want one? Will I want the pattern? Ah, Nick I know what I was going to ask you. Do you have or do you know of a really, really good pattern? Don't mind if it's crochet because I do crochet too. Not very often, but I do. Um, for Pikachu. And I, I, the thing is, I want it so that it's... I want it to be huge. Right, because when I put Pikachu in a photograph, because we've just downloaded Pokemon Go, next to Daryl, it's like you know it's fucking immense isn't it? It's, it, it it pikachu is quite big so you know i want it to be a good like i don't know whether it's worth fucking making one or just going and buying one second sock cool I have well yeah I did and there were loads and I was just like <laughs> semi scrappy socks from your on the spice market sure oh I bet that's pretty I didn't know whether you had one or could recommend one that was all 
because he's really, really into fucking poker work at the moment. Oh, excuse me. Be so much less hassle, wouldn't it? My phone may ring because I am expecting a call and I have to take it. So if it does, I will, I will mute while I talk on the phone. Um, yeah, so if it goes muted, that'd be why. Yeah, I know there's loads on there. Even if you like hit free, <laughs> it's just like, oh my God. Oh, see, now that looks quite, uh, quite good. Yeah, there's, um, this one that New Day just found on Etsy. Fucking eight pounds, though, for a pattern. That's expensive. It does look good, though. Yeah, it is huge, isn't it? 22 inches. <laughs> That'd be like as big as him. I've got a whole bag of stuffing upstairs that could do it. What was that one that you gave me? Yeah, I don't like that one as much. <laughs> that one looks well dinky. That one looks fucking amazing. The top, uh, 22 inches from the top of one ear. Well, those things are probably good four inches in English with US crochet terms. So it's not in English then, is it? It's in American. 28 printable pages. Oh, God. <sighs> Excuse me. Mm. I may have to look 
into that one, I think. I better hide that in case he comes back downstairs. Because, <laughs> you know, bloody child. arm hurts. Did you have your stab today? Hello Knots, how you doing love? Oh God, stop it! Really, really pleased that reversible hat I made reached its recipient today. Thank God. I was like, you can send that bugger tracked because I'm not having that disappearing. Because I sent her something before and it got lost in the post. Oh, come on. You got the shot this morning. You might feel a bit rough tomorrow. I know my mum did. She phoned me up the next day and said she felt a bit blur. A bit like fluey in that. But it only lasted the day she took some painkillers and felt fine afterwards and she was back to her normal self the following day I'd love a nap I can't remember the last time I had a nap they were great weren't they <laughs> he was like oh my god what the fuck is it I was like well I'm not telling you that You'd be surprised then would it Daryl! I'll tell you how many steps I've got. How many steps you got? I'll come to how many steps you got. 10,091. Lovely. How many do you have? 11,609. You've got more. I've got more. Go on, off you go. You um, you came here expecting me to be in my dressing gown. Well, I got dressed, Pug, because I did actually go out for a little bit. I went down to visit my mum, and and I had chocolate cake, <laughs> and then we went like for a walk. So, and it was a bit chilly, which was why I got dressed. Sorry. I mean, if you told me you were coming, I would have gone and put my Snoopy dressing gown back on, especially for you. But you know, you didn't. So. You lucked out there. You're always coming. I don't need to know that. Now your arm feels like it's been hit with a baseball bat. Ouch. That sounds painful.
Okie dokie. You may have noticed that these are actually toe up socks. Is that the one where I'm not allowed to? I, can't, I can never remember that one. <laughs> Is that one I can't remember pug um, somebody's gonna have to tell me what that one is is it I'm not allowed to curse for 15 minutes or something I could do that no swearing for 10 minutes righty ho what is it now 752 okie doke okay so I'm on row 49 so knit one twice don't anybody redeem steps because I'm not doing them today I'm in too much pain One, two, three, four, and five which is going to yarn over Gonna yarn over. Knit one, yarn over. Slip, slip. Knit. And knit one. Yay. Using an ice pack and trying to keep it moving to avoid too much pain. Um, if you've got like any tiling or anything like that. That will help it. Did you sleep on it? You might play some just dance now. I don't know what that is. Sounds like one of those things where you put a dance mat on the floor and you have to copy what it does. Is, it, is that what it is? It's gonna yarn over. Knit one. <laughs> This one is just holding the switch remote and copying the dancing on the screen. The remote texture. Is that that thing with the big wheel? You do have a big dance pad for a different game though. 
So that just looks like that. That sounds like it would be so much more fun if you did it on a big dance pad and you had to do like all the moves. Can you amalgamate the two and do all the foot moves while waving your switch remote around? <laughs> oh. Spring fit, you just have to follow the arm movement really. It's more fun to do the whole body. Oh, right, okay. Pff, I don't know. I think Elle used to have a ring fit. I don't know if she still uses it. it appears in her um, clips every now and then. I've never seen her use it though. That's the most exercise you get. <laughs> it's like my oldest son cracks me up. Got a Fitbit because he wants to keep fit. And um, I've caught him sat in a chair, waving his arm like that before now to get the steps up. And I'm like, what's the point of doing that? Well, it's so I don't, you know, I get my steps and I don't have to get up because I'm too tired. And I was like, but the only person you're cheating is yourself. I said, just don't count as a lie then, isn't it, if you're going to do it like that? Yeah, so it's not like you go in competitions against a nifty car. So there's only you. And when you do it like that, it's a lie, you know. People used to do that we fit as well, didn't they? They used to cheat on that. Because there's so many different ways you can cheat on it. so funny when he comes over though because um you know we've both got fitbits and uh, sometimes he'll come over because we're binge watching a series so we stick the tv on you got me and him marching right in front of the tv <laughs> he looks hysterical god knows what people want to think when they walk past do toe up socks so I'm really hoping that I stop when I, <laughs> when I get to the right length of foot
10 minutes. 10 minutes is up. Yay. <laughs> for a walk today I didn't walk any more than I normally would you know just and I didn't even walk very fast because my right knee is trying to pop and you know it's been a bit of a pain in the bum um, just sort of mooched you know like you do when you mooch but um, my legs both agony today and it's like really you know you got exercised <laughs> and they're twitchy as anything real proper restless legs going on which I absolutely hate They are, aren't they? I'm sat in the other room, watching TV before Daryl got to go to bed, and he's sort of sitting on my lap for a cuddle. And my legs are like, they feel like they're going to explode because I'm not able to kick them about and move them because he's sat on my lap. I had to send him off my lap in the end. It's like, dude, I'm sorry, you just got to move because my legs really hurt. And they like it now and it's just like this they're going like this on the desk <laughs> I'm so tired though that's yeah I'm going to go find a painkiller for it in a minute. That sometimes stops it. Hi Vic! How's it going, honey bunny? What'd you take up then? I don't have any water, I have vodka. I'll stretch in a minute when I get up to go and find a painkiller. Mm. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Hang on, he's going to sleep. 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 Oh. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Has Al come to No, Al's not come. Victus is here. Say hi, Victus. Hi, Victus. Can I have yarn balls? I don't know if she can do all the yarn balls. I do like the vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Al's yarn balls. Yeah. Oh, dude, you just got some points. I know. 125 zero, not no. bad. 250, not 25, 0. Look! What's Victor's done? <gasps> no, Bolsonaro. She says goodnight. 
Yabbles does. And Yabbles. Oh, yeah. So, kiss. But that isn't all the Yabbles. Oh, that's enough. Go on, off you go. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> I like you. Go on, off you go. Oh, yeah, go on, Mr. Fierce. I'm tired, that's how I am. How are you? Have you managed to make it through the day? You can go to sleep. I would love to go to sleep. Now. You can go to bed. How are you tired? You survived. Yeah, that's about what, <laughs> That's about how I'm sort of getting through the week at the moment. It's been a shit-ass week. Tired. Exhausted, I think, is actually probably closer to the term. I want a day of not doing very much. You know, where I just curl up on the sofa with me knitting for a day. But my, my curl up on the sofa day is Sunday. That's the day I do that. And I think because I didn't do that last Sunday, I did like my journal and got caught up on loads of other stuff. I kind of feel like I haven't had my lazy day, you know. Stitch and Bitch on Saturday. Yes. That should be quite good. If we're all awake, that is. <laughs> right. It was really cool, sat here earlier and um, Victus was streaming and Nero came over for a bit to pick up a parcel and um, Victus had pretzel rocks going and all of a sudden um, Alex's en wrestling entrance music came on. It's called Fires Fade by Charm and Ministry of Sound and um, Alex actually has written permission um to use that as his uh as his entrance music which is like super super cool he emailed them and he said you know i'm a i'm a just starting out in wrestling and um you know i'd really really love to use your 
song fires fade as my entrance music but obviously i need your permission to do that so on and so forth would that be all right and i think the guy's name is gavin just emailed him back and he went yeah dude that's cool you know best of luck to you <laughs> screenshot it screenshot it and i'll stick it in my journal <laughs> which is what we did it's super freaking cool to hear it on your uh Came on again later, Lil. 14 hours of music and played the same track twice. Cool. I did look into pretzel rocks but um i don't know how to do it so that you guys can hear it i know how to get it to come up as like a, a desktop app and play but somebody told me the other week they could barely hear it so it was kind of like oh and i don't know how to make it a thing on my mixer On, um, on on Streamlabs, you know. So I don't know why my sounds aren't working. Yeah, no, um, I'm talking about like on Streamlabs or OBS or whatever. I don't know how to make it play through that so you guys can hear it properly. I mean, I can open it and make it play on my desktop, but when I did that the other day, um, somebody said they could barely hear it, so I was like, oh, it's a bit bloody pointless then, doesn't it? How am I feeling today? I'm feeling really tired. Really tired. It's been a long week, Rita, you know? One stress after another. Just I could sleep, I think. So I was in the other room and I was like, I could have a little nap before I go online. But Daryl kept clambering over me, so I was like, sit and watch 1990s Spider Man while I nap. you set it all up and you can't remember exactly but you have OBS capturing it as desktop audio is that what I need to do then don't have that on Streamlabs. 
I have audio output capture and audio input capture, but not desktop audio. Oh, it's audio output capture. It captures your desktop audio for the purpose of playing sound, such as musical speech. Is it that then? Do you think? Shall I try it? list is empty. Well, I've got to open it first. <coughs> Excuse me. Because everybody online is just like, yeah, you just open it and play it. And I'm like, well, it doesn't fucking work when I do it that way. Yeah, when I try that, the list is empty. There's nothing there. Oops. I've got to log into Pretzel. That sucks. Why aren't you logged in from the last time when I used you? Okay, let's put you over there a sec. Still list is empty. I don't know then, that's weird. It is working, but it does. Instead of a desktop audio and just captures all sound that the PC has playing so you don't have to select pretzel. Oh. Can you hear anything? Because I can't. Oh, hang on. That's annoying. Can you hear that? Oh, cool. What station do you use? That's really loud. And you can hear that alright, can you? Oh, cool! Go on, go on. You use rock. Yeah, because I quite liked what you were listening to earlier. I haven't looked through these at all. Good old rock and roll. 28 hours worth. Well, let's have that then. And can you hear that okay? Is that nice and clear? Is it too loud, too quiet? I still haven't the faintest idea about this thing. That's a bit quiet. So it sounds fucking loud here, hang on. Here's only on like 2%. Okay, that's 4%, how's that? Is that all right? Yay, I made it work. It's a nice background. See, it sounds really loud to me, but, oh, hang on. She says turning her computer down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit thick sometimes. That's good. Thank you. See, even though you don't know what you're doing, you helped.
They've even got a channel called The Elevator. <laughs> Yeah, um, very funny about my music though. It's just stuck in the fucking eighties, me. That's the trouble. your little boy going back to school next week? Am I safe to ask that or are you one of those parents that's going to burst into tears on me? Or has he been going throughout? I'm a right idiot when it comes to stuff like this pretzel and all that lot. <laughs> it's like um, Elle clipped me a while back. I can't remember what it was that I did and she clipped it and she posted it into chat and I was like, ah, oh, first time I've been clipped and all this lot. And then about two weeks later, I was hunting around and I actually found out that I've been clipped quite a few times before I just had, hadn't known. So I'm going to have to go through and... Um, see what all these clips are. Actually, fires fade won't play for me because I've got voice turned off. Felix has a bit of a lady's man in his nursery. You've been told by the mums that the girls have been saying how much they miss him. One girl hugs him and holds his hand off. Oh, yeah, Daryl's like that. Um, one of the other mums contacted me like sort of 
several months ago and she was like, oh, I was wondering if you wanted to get together because Isabel says she really misses Daryl. And I was like, oh yeah, that's really cool, yeah. <laughs> it was great. She's like, yeah, yeah. You know, she's got like two girls and she's just recently had a baby boy. She's like, yeah, Is Isabel really misses him and, and Abigail wants him to come and play as well. That's the older sister. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, you know. So like in between the two lockdowns, we went around to visit. And I got told a baby. Yeah, mum dropped him off on Monday, said the girl stopped in front of him and gave him a hug. He looked over my mum rolled his eyes. Oh, bless. <laughs> When I was a kid, um, I had this best friend called Susan, and um, we we were really, really close, do you know what I mean? And she came from quite a large family. She was the eldest of three kids, and there's loads of cousins and all of that lot, you know. We played together as kids, and we went to high school together, and you know, all of that lot. And um, When I left school, I, I started having children immediately. You know, I was pregnant when I did my exams and all that lot. And um, her mum had a late baby. And her, her fourth child came along when my second son, who's 27, was six weeks old. So they ended up going to school together. So the youngest brother of my best mate and my son went to school together. And now, or, you know, last year, Daryl was going to school with that boy's daughter. And I was just like, as soon as I saw Scott, I was like, oh, it's Scott. And he said, oh, hello. He said, I did wonder if I'd see you. And I said, oh, my God, are you telling me your little girl is like at, at the, in this class? And he was like, yeah, yeah, that's her over there. Mary Jane or MJ. And that Daryl's daughter. He's a lot more social than you've ever been. That's a good thing though. That's a good thing, apparently. <laughs> so yeah, Daryl keeps saying to me, I want to see Mary Jane, I want to see Mary Jane. So I have to get in touch with Susan and say like, there's only chance you can get Mary Jane at one point, because Daryl would like to see her. But it's just so funny, you think, you know, our families have been sort of friends for what your jeers really it's kind of cute Waiting for lunch. Okay, what you have for lunch, nuts? Oh god, I wish I could shut that fucking thing up. It's my antivirus. It's just, it does that every now and then. It just goes boom boom at me because I don't get it to protect one certain thing. It basically has a fit on a regular basis. I've got what I'm doing now, stupid thing.
frozen pizza. That's what I had for dinner. Pizza and chips. Low effort meal. Absolutely. in no mood to do a fart around meal, you know. Don't have the spoons to let your body react to this vaccine and take care of yourself too. No. Rest day today. Have you got to pick your husband up later? Or is that like done already? if you're ill then how does he get to work and back if you were too ill to take him or you know what if you came it became ill during the day and couldn't go get him then what happens then it might be drive through yeah, not wrong with that If you've got people then you can ask. <clears throat> you had a lot of quick meals at the start of this week while you was knocked down by the vaccine. 
Not wrong or quick meals in my book. Absolutely not. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. I know my mum said she felt dreadful the day after she had hers. And she said she felt loads better the very next day, but it took her a few days to feel back to normal. Yeah, that's what Mum said. Pounding headache. She said it was it was like having a mild version of it, all the symptoms and that. Um, but she didn't exactly feel ill, kind of so much. She ached. She had no appetite tonight. It's the first proper meal bed since Sunday. Yeah, he said earlier he was starting to feel a bit blurred, didn't he? I said that's his that's his tail growing. <laughs> oh, I would not be impressed if I got woken up at 4 a.m. I mean, I'd get up at 4 a.m. to go for a wee anyway, but that's, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. Husbands will quarrel almost as they do. I think even more so, because four-year-olds learn eventually. I don't think husbands ever do. I 
face is all itchy. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm going to shut up. <laughs> That's true. Okay, okay. I don't know what it's supposed to be like tomorrow. I quite fancy lots of sunshine, <laughs> but without having to go anywhere. So, you know, I want sunshine to go sit out my garden and just like enjoy it instead of having to rush around and do shit. No, yeah, me too. That'd be so lovely. Love getting my wheel out in the garden as well. I'll go out for walks. Although I've just found out that the um the place where I really like to walk, which is along the river they're planning on closing the fucking footpath for 
like six months everybody's having a bit of a to-do about it because it's like you know like i said well for a start you've just had the fucking covid you know why couldn't you've done the work during covid why is it going to be done now Someone's just coming and you want to stop one of the most popular, like, country spots on the fucking island. Assholes. Yeah, I'm really good because it's such a beautiful walk. It's, um, it's the bed of the old steam railway that used to run on the island before it was all electric and all that rubbish. And now it's it's a cycle path, and um, it's still the same width as the old railway, but obviously they've pulled up all the bullets and all that lot. But it runs through like the countryside and alongside a river, and you know it's it's really really nice. And um, they're they're talking about like eel conservation, which is why they want to do it. And it's like I said, but hang on a minute, you've just had lockdown. For the past 18 fucking months. Why are you waiting until we're talking about lifting lockdown so we can all get out and walk along there and stop at the wee cafe and have a cup of tea? You know, to suddenly say, oh yeah, you know, we're going to close it for six months. If they close it for six months, that's the summer gone. It's warm enough for outdoor crafting here. It's still fucking raining here. Good old British weather. When out today, it's definitely not warm enough to craft in my garden. Even though my garden's a sun trap and it might be really cold and windy out the front but warm and no wind out in my garden because it's all enclosed and it faces south and it's it's a lovely guy it's too hot in the summer to go out there um it's still too cold at the moment wind is cold Currently it's six degrees, the high today was forecast as eight. Seventy eight percent humidity, lovely. Feels like three. And it's it's dark as well because it's night time. Yeah, it does. It did today. We went out for a walk up on the cliff and it's bitter, you know. Let everybody wrap up, put hats on. sat in a hoodie and dressing gown heating on cold all the time I've got the heating on 
I didn't turn it on until just before I came online though. You're in the upper range of comfortable temperatures according to you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I could handle twenty two. That'd be just comfortable for me. Anything warmer than that is a bit bit much really. Bet you do. It's 35 to 43 centigrade. 22 C sounds almost cold. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to cope in that kind of... That just, no. That'd do me in. And how do you even... How do you do anything? I wouldn't be able to fucking... Cope. I really wouldn't. I would be sweaty and snappy and I wouldn't be able to sleep I, think I have to be covered up when I when I sleep you know so I have to feel like I've got a cover over me a sheet wouldn't cut it because it's just not heavy enough yeah see we don't have air conditioning a standard in our homes which is why Brits bitch and complain when it gets sort of up near 30 degrees because we don't have aircon. Two summers in Sweden have been horribly warm. No Sunday see either. Yeah. Horrible, isn't it? <laughs> Bought blackout curtains to show you the living room bathroom still so it was yeah see I thought about getting some of them for the bedrooms upstairs because mine and Daryl's bedrooms are both at the back of the house and like I said that face is like true south and shit it gets hot in there in the summer unbearably so
So I can't open my bedroom window fully because my bed is right in front of the window and I would have nightmares about Daryl falling out if I opened the windows, you know? So I can't open the big window, so I have to make do just opening the little valve. I can't even open it at night because he comes and gets in my bed with me. So I've, I'm either going to have to move my bed away from the window, which I really don't want to do, or I'm just put up with it. Any acceptable outside activities and reaches 35 plus, including being soaked in water as far as you're concerned. Yeah, absolutely. Sitting in a pool. Excuse me. <coughs> I want a weighted blanket. Apparently they're really supposed to help if you've got restless legs. Or, you know, about a bazillion and one other things wrong with you. It's supposed to be good for anxiety, uh, restless legs. If you have any other aches and pains, it's supposed to be good for that. And I'm like, well, I don't know how a weighted blanket is going to help with my restless legs, but I want one. Good. It's so expensive though, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, I've taken magnesium, I've used magnesium sprays. Nothing does anything for it. It's annoying. Um, and if I've done a lot, my legs are really bad. <clears throat> Phandronemia was also a course, so you got a good iron supplement and that helped with the cramps in the legs too. It's not so much cramps, it's it's the, <laughs> the jerking that does my head in. You know, the build up of the feeling that you need to move, 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 you need to move. And all of a sudden your leg goes fucking wallop and throws your back out or something. That happens a lot. You bought some compression gloves off Amazon and your fingers cramp up a bit. It's a large size, so that's, that's the fake it then. Sorry. I think I might have 
actually slept for too long last night. Because I'm so tired. Okay. I'm going to have an early bedtime. I would if you feel rubbishy. Definitely worth it. when you're like when you've been doing a lot and it's been stressful and you've been on the go and then 
for absolutely no reason you start to feel like shit that's how I feel tired, achy, worn out so much to do Thing I am looking forward to when this is lifted and all back to relative normal, so let's get my bloody nails done. I have so missed having my nails done. I hate my nails without any quick extensions. I'm going to go and have a quick wee wee and when I come back I will do the stretch that I owe new day and uh, yeah go from there so I will be up
you guys hear the music while it was on BRB, just out of interest? I do this. Did you hear it? Because when I go BRB, I mute my microphone. I don't know whether that affects the music or not. silent did it oh, okay Who Daryl was talking about, but he's burping away up there to himself. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's a very intense conversation. Love this yarn. I don't know what it is. I bought it in a D stash years ago, and the person I bought it from couldn't even remember. 
because she'd um, bought it and immediately wound it into a skein, you know, and then promptly lost the uh, label for it. So. <laughs> I don't ordinarily, um, this pattern is a toe up pattern, so um, I thought I would for this one, I normally knit top down. It's been a long time since I've done a toe up pattern, so I'm um, just to see how it turns out. <laughs> yeah, I, I ordinarily I go top down, so... I read through the pattern like a gazillion times when I was going to cast them on because I thought if I just do them top down I could do it top down and reverse the pattern that's, that's absolutely fine and my brain just wouldn't it just refused to cooperate and I was oh for heaven's sake 
now that I've got the pattern though, I am kind of like slightly tempted to put it out and cast on from the top because I just think it would go faster, but it probably would. That's probably just me. So a few little things I don't like. Um, when I started, it's like they they do this like little ribby bit up the side, which is really really nice. But it kind of just starts. I would have carried that on down to the toe, although I get why they didn't because I think some people will probably find that a bit irritating on the toe. But I don't like the way it just starts there, you know. <laughs> And the toe seems really shallow to me. Mine, the toe always looks a lot bigger than that. So, yeah, I'm a bit like, mm. We shall see. It is, it's very pretty. Um, it's called Emerald City. And it is, it is based on, you know, Wizard of Oz. Um, but because I'm not doing it in a green coloured yarn, um, I'm calling it Emerald City Dotty Got Lost. <laughs> Just to...
stop there. So I'm pretty tired. And I want to go and sit in a comfy chair. This chair is not comfy. I need recommendations for comfy chairs because this one just isn't. And I'm fed up with being uncomfortable when I want to be at my desk. So, yeah. Um, thank you for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate it. Mm, yeah, not huge. I'm going to have to save up for it. So, <coughs> anyway, thank you very much for tonight. I'm sorry it's quiet. Glad I got the music working there. That was that was quite good. Um, I'm going to go and raid my son just because I've only got a few of you here anyway. Says, so you know, whatever. Hang about, say hi, and then clear off if you want. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Um, I will be back on Saturday, I believe. Yeah, Saturday. No, because we're doing some um, doing stitching bitch on Saturday, aren't we? Yes. Didn't think about that, did I? Ooh, might have to do it a different night then. Okay, I'll be back when I'm back. <laughs> have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy.